Hey guys, I apologize for some of the background noise. When I did this voiceover, it was flooding on my truck cab, and I didn't have time to, to redo it, so um, you, you'll hear a little bit of background noise. It's not going to stop you, I don't think, from enjoying the video, but that's what it is. It's rain on the top of the cab. got a big pine stump here we're digging yes so uh, it's not sticking up real high so it's kind of hard to see but if you watch to the end you'll see how big it is at the end when he gets it out uh, originally this is gonna be a short video but it turned into a lot more stump than what I thought so the video is a lot longer than what I thought um, and there's there's another little one right there where he's at right now So we dig a lot of stumps and knock on wood we don't normally break a lot of stuff and there's a couple reasons why um, they're bit, it's kind of a big deal we try to be more methodical about it and try not to act like a cowboy when you're digging stumps because that's a really good place to break your stuff and then the other thing here see he's checking to see if it moves no movement it gets off of it we don't deadhead them so it doesn't matter if we're digging the roots or we're pulling on the stump we try not to deadhead the hydraulics on it that's when you tear I mean that's when you really tear some stuff up so you know when we're checking the stump he'll give it a quick I don't know half second pull and you know if you don't see some movement like right there see he backed off of it some was able to get moving got the dirt out of the bucket and was able to pull on through that root but if you don't get some movement pretty quick you better back off of it especially if your machine's got any kind of age on it because that's when you have a failure He's trying to cut the roots on the back side. Breaking the side roots, making sure he's got them broke. At this point, he's seeing that the stumps dug in a little better than what we had anticipated. And he's gonna, he's gonna do a little more digging. moved a little but it ain't ready so he that was him getting that little small stump out I didn't I didn't get that on video I think here is where he starts going deep so like what we do we get hung up on a pine stump like this with a big tap root like this one's got the best answer that I have for you once you've dug around it and you cut the side roots and you're sure they're cut and it still won't come out is pick the side that digs the easiest whichever side that is and go straight on down and just go right on where it's good easy digging and just go on down past the bottom of the root see there's a little bit of the foot root right there that we're getting in now um, and you just go right on down out of sight fast i usually dig deeper than what i can imagine that stump being and a lot of times once you see i would have went a little bit deeper than he did but I mean, he's not wrong it's just uh that's just me i don't want to go deeper see what happens is, is these things the tap root will form like a foot on them see it's close to coming out now they'll form a foot on them and, uh, anyways there's me pointing <laughs> like an idiot they'll form a foot on them and they, so they go down straight the tap does and then it branches out the bottom it's almost like a rivet if you don't if you don't get that you know get that dirt dug out around that foot you almost can't get them out without breaking them off and I mean, uh, a root or a stump this size you're just not not with a 20,000 pound excavator you're just not going to break it off so there is, you know, there is a way to do this without tearing your stuff up all the time. Um, we dig a lot of stumps. We do a lot of stuff that, you know, people say is rough on them. And we're just real careful. We don't deadhead them. And, I mean, this machine's at half throttle right now. And I know that's a big deal, too. Like a bunch of people tell me we're stupid and all that. But our stuff lasts a lot longer than most folks. Um, our stuff runs cooler. So, which we're in Florida. we got no thermostat in this machine, and it's running at half throttle right now digging a big pine stump. Now we might would already have it out if we run it at full throttle. I don't know it is a little stronger but it's not it's not a great deal because we got the volume turned up on the pump. Um, you know there's adjustments on a lot of them. We got the volume and the pressure turned up on the pump so we run at half throttle and uh, and we we can dig like like we could at full throttle when I got it. So 
there's that. So we're, we're doing a big excavator's job with a little excavator at half throttle. You see how he got off of it? It wouldn't pull it, so he, he released it and got another bite on it. And what that does is uh, we, it gives you a chance to get a little better leverage, but it also releases that hydraulic pressure. Because that's when you really tear your hydraulics up when you just when you when you put a lot of pressure on them and you hold it on them, it gives them time to to really break some stuff. Hope this uh, video was informational and entertaining at the same time, and we really really appreciate you watching.